Here we have James IC7300 and we just installed the AC Mod 6. The new look of the AC Mod IC7300, Hi-Fi, Asymmetrical AM and ESSB transceiver. Here we have Jason's IC7300 and we just installed the AC Mod 7. And looking at the top side, we have installed our AC Mod controls here on the top panel. Here you have your amp keyer, your AC Mod disable switch, and your PTT jack. So let's turn it on. Here we have the AC Mod 7. And uh, right now we're on AM mode. So you will see both 12 volt and 24 volt LEDs come on when we switch to another mode, such as sideband. The 24 volt light will remain dim that means we're in another mode the ac mod is on standby the other side of the ac mod for the sideband modulator has been turned on and the red light indicates that we have our nine volts and our vcc for the rf driver And now we're gonna give it a try. So the first thing we're gonna do is bring all the controls counterclockwise. We're going to flip the switch in the rear towards the inside of the radio to enable the AC mod. We're gonna go to AM mode. And uh, we'll go ahead and transmit. As you see there, we have our carrier, our fundamental frequency. And over here we have our old scope. So let's go ahead and race up the carrier and let's put it, let's say at five watts. Um, now, at this point, we have our RF power set to 83%. In 83%, this carrier level will give you a range from zero watts to about 20 watts of carrier. Right there, full scale is 20 watts. The other setting that I recommend is putting your RF power to 48%. Now this carrier range will give you a max of 10 watts, which is what's recommended for this radio to maintain your headroom. I wouldn't go past 10 watts of dead key on this radio. So let's just set it leave it at 48% uh, on the RF power and let's put it at 3 watt dead key right there make sure we have our two divisions on our O scope and uh, we here we have Pro Tools we'll open up a session and uh, we'll, we'll start the SIG gen and as you can see our modulation envelope is starting to form but we need some more audio so We'll bring up our modulation until you see your 100% modulation right there. To sound louder, bring up your asymmetry. That's 200% right there. That's 100. That's 150. That's 200%. Back down, that's 150 and that's 100% modulation. Let's try a 10 watt carrier. We'll disable the SIG gen, we'll transmit, and we'll bring up the carrier to 10 watts. We'll adjust the O-scope 
to get your two divisions and uh, we'll start the SIG gen and we need some more audio so we'll bring up the audio till we reach 100% 100% modulation and now you could add your symmetry this radio is equipped with the AC mod disable switch that reverts the radio back to factory specs it totally disables the AC mod as if it was not installed um, to enable the AC mod you flip the switch towards the inside of the radio and if you switch it to the other side the AC mod will be disabled uh, while on AM if you disable the AC mod you'll be using the radio as it comes from factory the audio from the mic jack directly into the radio if you flip the switch and enable the AC mod the audio from here will be um, redirected to the AC mod and will modulate the finals if you plug in the line in connector it'll interrupt this mic uh, input and now we're feeding directly the hi-fi audio into the AC mods. It is recommended to use the line in connector When using sideband the AC mod will go into sideband mode and the AM modulator side will go to sleep At that point if you have the AC mod enable switch on Your audio will go into the AC mod give you a little better audio on sideband and if you disable it then your audio will go as it would flow from factory now the switch in the back is a three position switch make sure you have it either all the way to the left or all the way to the right enabled or disabled in the middle is not going to do anything so there you have it the icom ic7300 with the ac mod 7. here we have james IC7300 now with the new low profile knobs makes it look even slimmer So let's give it a little test now on AM. Let's uh, bring our carrier all the way down. And at this point, we have to set the um, the RF power on 50% when running AM and the AC mod. Again, uh, we have the AC mod enabled, disabled switch in the back. Right now it's in the enabled position. The quarter inch jack is connected to the output of the audio processor. And uh, we just keyed up at the minimum carrier at 50 percent of rf power and we see one watt on the bird if you want less than one watt you can bring it down over here on the main rf power of the radio to anything in between zero and one watt but it's recommended to write it at 50 percent of rf power and start off at one watt and go up as you need you go up to 20 something watts about 25 watts they're almost maxed out on the carrier control all right so there it is there's the reference at one watt let's go ahead and uh, start the sig gun over here key up and there we have our modulation envelope Let's bring up the modulation a little bit. Right there, we see our four watts PEP. If we bring up our asymmetry, this button here, your PEP power goes up as well as in the scope, up to 300% as you saw there but that's a nice setting right there 150 percent so that's the icom ic7300 with the ac mod 6 internally installed and the new low profile uh, buttons new low profile knobs 
mounted on the top cover. So there you have it. The AC Mod 6 and the ICOM IC7300.